everyone, welcome to Jen the Real Fluencer. My channel here is all about helping you be your most confident self through style, fashion, and beauty. First things first, if you clicked on this video, maybe we're similar, maybe we are similar folk and we probably should be friends. That is just my opinion because the whole reason I'm making this video is because I feel like jackety shackities that I like to say, I'm a little bit of a goofball, FYI. I feel like they don't look good on me and that is why I'm making this video to hopefully help you. So we probably should be friends because you feel like they don't look that great on you neithers, okay. <laughs> So here in this video today, I have just kind of like quick tips that I'm just gonna run through very briefly on what I have personally found to make shackets look great. Maybe not great, look decent. Look decent on me and hopefully they'll be helpful to you too. Before we get started, let me know down in the comments. Have you tried a shacket yet? Are you terrified? Do you hate them? Give me your shacket status down in the comments. I wanna know your shacket status, okay. <laughs> Okay, my biggest and probably most importantest tip is gonna be to size down. Typically the way you see a shacket is like big, oversized, usually on a smaller body than certainly myself. And typically in those scenarios, oversized stuff looks good on, you know, what I would call a thinner person. I don't really find usually that much oversized stuff looks great on me, whether we're talking about a shacket or not a shacket. You know, and that's just me, I'm, I'm super curvy. I'm mid-size and curvy. As an example, this shacket right here, I'm wearing a size small. Can I button it? No. Do I care? Also no. So if you take away anything, size down. This is one thing that I noticed in actually trying the exact same shacket on in store, trying to decide which pattern to get. And, and I know you're probably thinking, oh yeah, Jen, we know to buy like a black shacket. Black looks great on everybody. Okay. Yes. I mean, yes, I understand that. But what I noticed, this one was in particular, it was a tan and blue versus like a gray and white. Like, so neither one were particularly of a very dark shade. And I just noticed that by a lot, the gray and white one looked better on me. So my tip for you here is particularly if you're in store, Store, I would try a couple different patterns on because again that kind of surprised me it really can make a difference so definitely try a couple patterns on and then pick which one looks the best on you Probably my favorite thing to wear with a shacket would be either like a legging or a faux leather legging. And the reason is, is I think it's that balance. It's the opposite, if you think about it this way, a lot of us know that if you're gonna wear like a pair of wide leg pants, you best be wearing a fitted top. This is almost the opposite. It's like if you're gonna wear something decently oversized, I mean, I'm saying oversized, I'm telling you to not wear it oversized, but it's still going to be thicker, bigger, bulkier, boxier. That's just the style of what it is, even if it's not oversized. I hope you know what I mean. Wear it with something fitted on the bottom. That is gonna give it a little bit more balance. As an example, I wouldn't be dare wearing a shacket with a wide leg jean. That's just my opinion. If you wanna do that, you do you, you do you. But it's gonna make me look pretty terrible to wear a shacket with a wide leg jean. So I generally am probably always gonna be pairing them with something thinner on the bottom, skinnier, fitted, small, yes. Kind of to that point, again, I think a lot of the ways that we see shackets are just oversized, oversized everything. So we're like an oversized graphic tee underneath. We're an oversized this, oversized that. To kind of combat the oversized boxy look, even if you're not wearing it oversized, I think wearing a fitted shirt underneath really helps. So like how I have this here, because underneath the boxiness, you can see, you know, I you can see my shape here, even if my shape is a fat roll. You know what I mean? Like you can see it. Hopefully you guys know what I mean. Combating the oversizedness, boxiness is only gonna work in your favor. If you really like the trend and just can't seem to make it work for you, a lot of times these are very warm type of shirt jackets, jackets. <laughs> Maybe venture out and wear it as an actual jacket because usually with a jacket, we're not so focused on it being like, oh, it's gotta look a certain way. It has to look flattering. I would always tell you to try to pick stuff that looks flattering on you, but you know, even me, the person that's always trying to dress the best for D's hips, you know, even I'll kind of let some of that go sometimes in the name of just like a jacket. So I would argue wear your jacket as a jacket if you really want to be in trend and want to try the style without incorporating it into an actual outfit, that would be another way to do it. 
All right, two shoe ideas for you, and they're kind of opposite, so hear me out. The first one is to wear it with heels. And the reason I mostly say that is because I feel like with heels, just anything that's gonna give you a lift, really no matter what you're wearing, is going to make you look better, thinner, whatever. And then the opposite is I've actually noticed kind of in contrast to that, I feel like these look the best with boots. I know that's like the opposite. Again, it's like a boxy look on the top, and I feel like if you wear it something with something fitted, down below but then balance the boxiness out with a boot it almost kind of gives you that if you want to think of it as like an hourglass shape like your whole body meaning like it gives your shoulder to toe an hourglass effect if that makes sense um, I know they're opposite probably the best thing to do would be like a chunky heeled boot maybe that would be the best of both worlds and I guess what I'm really trying to say here is maybe just everything that's not those I have found at least personally on me that doesn't look the best like a pair of clogs or a pair of thinner type of sneakers. It feels a chunkier sneaker maybe. And I'm not saying it looks terrible, but I'm just saying I've noticed they look better with boots, combat boots, lug boots, whatever, or a heel. We are about halfway through this video, so please give the video a like if you're finding it helpful and digging it so far. It helps me and my channel out so much, and I truly appreciate it. I think the length is really important. It's something to chat about here. So again, if you're new here, I talk a lot about flattering your body on this channel, flattering curves. I can mostly only speak to curvy midsize because that's what I am, right? And usually this what is interesting. What I have found is often stuff that is able to kind of cover your hips, but in a, in a flattering way is generally a good thing. So like an example would be like a duster cardigan. I think duster cardigans look great on curvy women, but here's the difference, I believe. Because because a duster cardigan is forgiving. It'll go out with your hips, but then also go back in. The issue with a long shacket, like the kind that's, you know, more of like a trench coat style length or something, is because they're so structured, and if you are hippie, curvy, like I am, you know, it's gonna go down and form that triangle to kind of meet at your curves, but because then it's so thick, it's gonna stop, where a duster cardigan might kind of, I mean, I'm not saying dust cardigans are like literally fitted. I think you know what I mean. They'll then hang and kind of come back in. This is just going to keep going. So it's going to make your entire kind of outline look like a big triangle. What I would be curious to know is if you're watching this and you happen to be more of like an apple shape, I'm definitely more of a pear shape. I would actually think a long shacket on you would look very flattering because I think, you know, normally you're probably carrying your weight more in your stomach and maybe your hips aren't as wide. So it's not doing that triangle thing. But let me know if you are that shape or even really any shape and you believe that the long shacket does flatter you but I would tell you if you are curvy just stay away from the long jacket I have found the perfect length to be something that essentially almost falls at your hips because again it's going down to where your hips are gonna go which if you think about it no matter what you're wearing that's where your eye is gonna go because that's your widest part really no matter what or I don't want to go as far as to say it cropped but something that's a little bit shorter is the two lengths that I think look particularly the best on a pear curvy body shape I'm saying that because it's not even going down to your hips. So your hips are going to sit wherever they sit with whatever you're wearing. That's what I have found to look the most acceptable, acceptable. I would also advise, you know, don't layer these things up. I mean, there's an exception. There's one time actually where I layered a shacket underneath an outdoor, like a wool style coat that was a little bit more of a structured coat. And I actually did particularly like that. But what I'm referring to is, you know, you often see just all these layers, like oversized layer on top of oversized layer. I mean, I just feel like that's generally probably just gonna pack on the pounds in terms of appearance, which is why I'm telling you to like wear a fitted shirt underneath it. So I'd say just avoid layers. Unless maybe you're doing it in the way that I did. I don't know. You could tell me if you thought it looked bad. I thought it looked decent, but I really feel like that's because it was underneath a pretty structured jacket, which I feel like almost anything underneath a structured jacket like that is going to look almost the same. Just as a general rule of thumb, I would just avoid Sherpa. You argue that a, sh a Sherpa shacket isn't a shacket. I don't know. If you see any that are more of a Sherpa material, I would just avoid them. I feel like Sherpa, it never really works out for me. I don't know if it works out for you. I love Sherpa, which is why I started putting Sherpa in like anytime a shoe has Sherpa in them, like sign me up or a bag or whatever. It's like, I love Sherpa, but I feel like I can't wear it in a very flattering way. So my advice is to just cut it out. 
An interesting one regarding your hair, I would wear your hair down. I feel like I've worn my hair up with jackets and I think I've really just noticed this because I do take a lot of photos of myself with what I do here on YouTube and Instagram and stuff like that. They look better with your hair down, they just do. I think anytime that you're thinking like it's gonna look boxier or it's gonna make your arms look bigger or just really anything like that, I feel like your hair is going to help you in, in that regard. So I would wear them with your hair down. This next one has to do with like a certain style of shacket. There are some that are more structured like this. And then I've seen some that are a little bit more like loosey goosey. Like they're probably almost like shacket wannabes when it really comes down to it. Meaning they look like shackets, but maybe they're a little bit of a thinner material. Try wearing them off the shoulder. I think anytime that you can wear something off the shoulder, I think it always does make it look better. Just be careful though. Like something like this, this is probably a little too thick and structured. And I also ordered it in a small. Therefore I can't wear it off the shoulder. So you might almost need to know that going in. If I knew I was going to wear kind of a light shacket off the shoulder, I probably would order it not in a small, if that makes sense. Anyway, just consider that. I would say it's one of those things if you're in a store where you have a bunch of them in front of you. Oh, let me try one in a small. Let me try one in a large sort off the shoulder. You'll almost be able to get a better taste for it versus just kind of, you know, trusting me and ordering a bunch of stuff online. And then last but not least, probably the most important tip, if they look bad on you, you've tried, you don't want to try again, just don't, just don't wear them. Don't wear them, don't buy them, just don't do it. There are so many trends that I skip because I can't make them work. I will say the shacket, I have spent time trying to figure out what works for me because I do like them. But if you don't like them, don't go out of your way to make it work. Like you don't like them, they don't look good on you, there's other ways to be trendy. Just avoid, 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 avoid avoid. What do you think? What'd you guys think? Is this going to help you? Are you going to do it? Are you going to try a shacket? Are you going to try a shacket differently? Do you have an updated shacket status? Let me know. Let me know down in the comments and I'll see you next time. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe.